It was another terrible seven days for the NFL, with yet more news regarding serious domestic abuse. Everyone had significant questions for NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell regarding how the NFL handles domestic abuse and what specific plans he has to improve things in the future. And so on Friday, he spent an entire 45 minutes answering none of them. These incidents demonstrate that we can use the NFL to help create change. We are taking a number of steps. We will re-examine, enhance, and improve all of our current programs, and then we'll do more. There will be changes to our personal conduct policy. I know this because we will make it happen. We've acknowledged that we need to change what we're doing. Now we have to get to what are those changes going to be. And in so saying, I have effectively made sounds which, when put together, constitute words which can then be turned into sentences that make noise to travel into your ears, and that's 45 minutes. I've done it. Goodell out. <laughs> Clear eyes. Full hearts. Can't take my job. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. The, the low points of the press conference might have been when Goodell had this exchange with a reporter from TMZ. I would have loved to have seen that tape. Should we do more to get that information in the future? That's a question I want these we, experts to do. We found out by one phone call. You guys have a whole legal department. OK. <laughs> you, you know, you know that things are not going well when you lose the moral high ground to a TMZ reporter. <laughs> a man, a man whose employer ran a story this week titled Nicki Minaj bamboobles her ass critics. <laughs> And the thing is, Goodell wasn't just getting criticised in the room. If you were watching on ESPN, you could see NFL players live tweet the proceedings, including Darius Butler, who wrote, <laughs> this press conference is pointless. <laughs> and you know what? Darius was right. In fact, Darius is right about everything that he watches on television. Just a few days later, I was watching NBC's The Mysteries of Laura, when a tweet of his popped up saying, yes, the reviews have been bad, but it's good to see Deborah Messing back on TV where she belongs. <laughs> You're right again, Darius. You've really got your finger on the pulse of America. <laughs> but truly, but truly, the single greatest reaction to the entire Goodell press conference debacle came from wide receiver Sidney Rice, who wrote simply, Boo this man, ghost emoji. <laughs> and I really think that says it all. Bravo, Sidney. Bravo. <laughs> Boo this man, ghost emoji, indeed. <laughs>